Hey everybody, it's Jeff. Welcome to another episode of Stay Rad Wine Blog TV. Uh, things are a little bit different today. Uh, Kara is out of town for the next two days, and so I'm here to uh, uh, with my dog, and we're just kind of fending for ourselves for the next couple of days. It's okay, tomorrow uh, I'm going to the 49er game with my buddy Nick, the drummer. You know, he tried to steal my candy once, but I beat him up. Uh, we're going to that game tomorrow, and uh, but anyways, when Kara is out of town, things change a little bit. One of the things that changes is uh, I get to cook me some uh, steaks. Uh, I would cook them for her, but she won't eat it, and it's not really fun cooking for one when the other person's right there. Uh, the other thing that is a little bit different is that uh, I know I haven't written out uh, any posts in a while. Um, I cannot write out posts when Kara is not here because I need somebody to proofread because uh, I make a lot of mistakes, guys. A lot. Not just in posts, in life as well. But anyways, I figured I am here by myself. Don't worry, I'm not going to drink both of these wines to completion. I'm going to have a little taste of each of these things today and kind of compare them to each other. Uh, this is the Columbia Crest's Two Vine series. So this is their really entry-level wine. Uh, Columbia Crest, a, a huge winery in Washington. Uh, they, along with their sister winery, Chateau Saint-Michel, are really, you know, putting Washington State on the map. Um, and these two wines right here, each of them was $4.99 at Trader Joe's. You can find them at uh, a whole lot of grocery stores. You just have to look down. Um, today I'm going to taste for you. They're both 2009. They're both Washington State. This one is the Merlot Cabernet, and it looks like it's 52% Merlot, 43% uh, Cab Franc, 5% Cabernet Sauvignon. So we're really getting a nice Bordeaux blend, a nice Meritage without the name. And if the name Meritage is on there, it's going to cost a, a little bit more than $5 because they got to pay to use that name. Uh, when we go to this one, the 2009 Cabernet Sauvignon, 100%, eh, maybe 100% Cabernet Sauvignon. They're not listing out the percentages here. I know in California you can go up to 75% um, and just list that one grape and blend in other things. I'm not sure if the rules are exactly the same in Washington, but we would assume, you know, it is mostly... Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, so I'm just going to dive right into it. I'm going to start with the 2009 Merlot Cabernet. Again, uh, of the Cabernets, Cabernet Franc um, is the big one. But again, predominantly, this is Merlot that we're looking at. And, you know, looking at it in the glass, it's this nice uh, burgundy color, dark burgundy. Uh, the wine itself... Uh, is fairly, uh, you know, translucent, transparent. I can see my fingers through it, uh, and I could definitely read something underneath. Um, so, you know, uh, light wine, the color itself is, is on the darker end of the spectrum, though. As I swirl this around in my glass, and I, and I stick the nose right in, Right off the bat, I'm getting like some strawberry fruit, a, a lot of strawberry fruit, like some strawberry jam. And you would expect a wine like this, uh, both of these wines to be a lot more fruit forward, not really wines that you want to age for a really long time. These are wines that are ready to drink now. You know, I'm getting a little strawberries, a little bit of whipped cream, a little balsamic vinegar? Uh, have you been watching that uh, show on the Food Network, Rachel vs. Guy, and they they have celebrity teams, and it almost smells like what Taylor Dane made the other night, a strawberry shortcake, and uh, everybody loved it. I could do that. I could do that. Anyways, but, but it smelled like that. A strawberry shortcake with a little bit of balsamic vinegar in there. Nice, fruity, delicious. 
there's a, a bit of a savory aspect to it, and that's where a little bit of that balsamic vinegar, a little bit of like cracked black pepper. It smells nice. Let's go into it. Wow. You know, there's a good uh, integration of oak into this. Uh, kind of like a vanilla kind of cream. And again, it's it's almost a very light, like a whipped cream type of flavor to this. And, and, and these nice, really fine type of tannins, uh, a little bit chalky, Jeremy, a little bit chalky, uh, but, but really nice, a really nice effort for $4.99. <coughs> Pretty tasty, pretty tasty. Um, wow, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna wait on the score just because I want to compare it to this uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. But so far, this Merlot Cab, this this Bordeaux blend, this is look. It's not over ninety, right? But it's much better than what I would expect. This is very nice. Let me just. Yeah, that's uh, that's some nice stuff. I will say you'd want to get this for five bucks. You'd want to get this. All right, let's try the uh, 2009 Two Vines Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, you notice I got the uh, ridge glass out. I think this is going to be my trend. Whenever you know, it's a bargain basement wine. I'll just try to class it up a little bit. But I got to tell you that first wine. Classy by itself. Uh, going into this Cabernet Sauvignon, nose is a little bit tighter. I'm not getting that bright fruit that I was with that Merlot-based stuff, and I guess you would expect the Merlot to bring a lot more of that big fruit to the front. <clears throat> My expectation is that this is going to be a little bit more deep, a little bit more brooding. So... Fairly tight nose. I am getting a little bit of cedar. A um, little bit of like green bell pepper. Um, but really, you hear my dog, really uh, more than anything else, you know, it's, it, it is kind of a tight nose. Let's see what happens when I dive back in. Wow, so you're getting like a, a bright, tart, cranberry uh, to, to start this off. There's a nice transition into a um, really a, a classic uh, Cabernet Sauvignon of like that cassis flavor, whatever that is. Cassis, uh, dark plums, and... and these these palate coating tannins that are they're 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 rough and I'm not saying that to uh, to say stay away but I'm saying like you know it feels like it's really like scrubbing back on your tongue um, but but nice and and you know uh, this Cabernet right here <clears throat> if you were gonna pair it and, and both of these wines they're you can drink them by yourself you can pair them with food it, it's not gonna be anything that's gonna blow you away it's just a nice wine that will not laugh you out of the party, a nice wine that that you don't have to spend tons of dough um, to get something that you're gonna enjoy. Uh, this right here, this is something that maybe I would pair with this steak. In fact, let me do that real quick. I'm really hungry, really hungry. Let's make sure I cook this right. So this one, I. Uh, I, I pan seared this and I let it rest for a while and, and sure enough it's, it turned out pretty nice, yeah? I, I mean it's not the prettiest thing, I just kind of threw it together because I was so hungry, but let me eat some of this. Rib I E. Hmm? Alright. Going back to this cab. I 
And you know that cranberry that I was talking about before? I'm getting more of like a, like a black cherry, per se. Um, so it really is kind of bringing all those fruits together and making like this, this super cherry, um, which is very nice, you know. <clears throat> if I have to go in and, and score these wines, what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna say that, that this Merlot, Cabernet Franc, Cabernet Sauvignon, uh, from the two vines, I'd give it like a, like an 88. I really would. Yeah, yeah, I mean it. 88 right here, uh, for the Cabernet Sauvignon, um, Although it is bringing some of the typical flavors of the Cabernet Sauvignon, it isn't bringing that body that I'm looking for. It goes nice with the steak. Both of these are, are nice wines. Giving this boy a, a 88, giving this guy a, an 87. Pretty good showing from some pretty cheap wines. Kara, hurry home. I want these to be here when you get back. Everybody. Stay rad.